welcome. Guess this wouldn't be YouTube if I didn't ask you to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. I'm most active on Twitter under SussexHenryVIII. Thanks for watching. Hello, my name's Megan. As you can tell by my voice, I am neither British or Henry VIII. Although if you were surprised by that last one, I'm not sure what to tell you. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have absolutely no experience with making videos or voice recording, so bear with me. In this introduction video, I'd like to give a brief history on how this whole thing started. I got my start paying attention to the royal family after a girl on my dorm floor made us watch Will and Kate's wedding at three in the morning. It's a very fond memory. All of us gathered around a shockingly small television for 2011, eating anything we could find and trying to stay awake despite most of us having an anatomy test the next morning. After the wedding, I joined a group on the hell site known as Tumblr. I liked the coat dresses and the sledge heels. I also desperately needed a distraction from nursing school, and at the time, the royal fandom on Tumblr was pretty positive. Over the years, it became pretty clear that Will and Kate weren't really going to do anything with their roles. I became less interested after George's birth. The space had become noticeably less positive, and there was a big blow up when William's helicopter buddies basically accused him of not showing up for work. There was also a new right-wing undercurrent to a lot of the conversations that I just really wasn't interested in. I stopped checking so regularly, but I still loosely followed what was going on across the pond. Then Meghan Markle entered the scene. But let's take a step back. I'm going to have probably more than one video dedicated to the heir versus spare phenomenon that exists in the royal family. For now, let's just say that Harry was portrayed as the lovable screw-up to William's stable and growing family. Harry was the third wheel. Kate and Harry were often shown happily chatting away. Harry publicly had stated how happy he was when Kate married into the family, and he was visibly protective of Kate, even when forgotten by her own husband. I would like to note that the picture on the right of the screen is hard to find. Like many of the less flattering photos of Will and Kate, it has been scrubbed. Thanks to Evie for keeping that receipt. Then, Megan entered and everything in that dynamic changed. I remember logging back into the Tumblr space and it was literally on fire. In a space mostly dedicated to talking about Will and Kate, the racism was immediate. They hated Megan. The royal industry would like you to believe that Megan was welcomed with open arms and it wasn't until later and due to Megan's own supposed actions that things became negative. They're lying. The negativity, specifically racist comments, started the second their relationship was made public, prompting Harry to make an unprecedented statement. Even while dating, Harry laid it out. A line had been crossed. Racism, sexism, social media trolling, photographers hounding Doria and trying to gain access into Megan's home, bribing old acquaintances for dirt. Here, in 2016, he's also sending a warning. This isn't a game. Needless to say, as another American Megan, my hackles were up. And this brings us to why I'm here. The royal machine bullied Meghan Markle even when she was pregnant and even when her and Harry were telling them she felt actively suicidal. Together, the press and the family forced out the only member of color they have ever had, and they did it in plain sight. There are far too many channels on this platform that are dedicated to hating Meghan, who hurl abuse with no pushback, and I think that should change. Thank you for watching this introduction video. If there's a specific topic as it relates to Harry and Meghan you'd like to see me discuss, please leave it in a comment and I hope to see you again soon.